Hello friends, I warmly welcome you to tutorial number 14 in this documentation video series. And today we're going to be talking about the Citicon Combo Box Control. This is one of the useful combo box control that we have right there. It allows us to show a list of items and select such items. So how do we use it? Well, you can simply drag and drop the combo box onto the WinForm. As you can see right there there are tons of customizations you can do and we're going to have an overview of such customizations in this video so you can change the border color and you can set it to green there it is or you can set it to black blue or whatever color to match your design theme you can even change the border thickness to three or to two i prefer two and you can change the border radius to any color so that you can have a beautiful result there it is so let's run the application and see what we have so far so let's give visual studio a moment to build self changes and show us the control there it is so this is the combo box so i'm going to add some items to this combo box you can choose the smart text or you can choose the default properties tab so I'm going to use the smart tag for this video. The items and I'm going to paste some items. These are colors. So as you can see, we have an option to select the start index. As you know, index starts at zero, which will be the first item in our collection green. If you select minus one, it means it will start at an empty item because there is nothing beyond minus one the index starts at zero one two three and so forth but when you choose minus one it means it's going to start at nothing the string is empty that is why you can see it's empty right there so let's run the project and see what we have so far there it is so the starting point is empty there is nothing and it comes to index number zero index number one number two number three number four number five going and so forth so we're going to choose magenta and when we expand the combo box we can see that the selected item is highlighted right there so we're going to choose lime again as you can see lime is highlighted right there so we can make some customizations for example we can say we want to start at index number five which is magenta so let's run the project and see the changes you see by default we are starting at index number five so if you have a list of items and you want to start at a particular index just remember that index is zero best so zero one two three four five which will be magenta as you can see right there so we want to see other properties that we have we can change the border radius you can change the border thickness you can even change the border style look at this border style let's run the project and see what we have so far Let's give your studio a moment, please. There it is. So we have a very beautiful border style that has been applied to this combo box. Yes, this is what you can achieve when you are working with Citicon Framework Combo Box Control. Again, we can choose the fill color. We can set it to any color. Another interesting feature that we have is the auto rounded corners. If it is set to true, you can see that the control is now radial. The corners have been turned into a radial. It's now circle, in other words. And it still works as a combo box, but with a different design. We can even align the text here by selecting right alignment or left alignment or center alignment. And that will affect the entire drop-down list of our items within the combo box. Let's run and see. There it is. We see all items 
within the drop down list are now center aligned because we have set the center alignment for the control to be center we have set the alignment property to be center one thing i would like to show you which is quite interesting is that uh, when we set the auto rounded corners to false it reverts back to a square but we can change the type of combo box to display this is a default silicon combo box but you can set it to material combo box this is what we have right there when we run, run our application we can see that the combo box styling has changed this is a material combo box this is very impressive we can use this uh, style in whatever application we need to match our design theme if you need material style you can change the combo box to material themed and if you want the default style you can simply revert back from material style to default style there it is you can even uh, change the hover color when we hover we want the back color to be silver so let's see what happens we we'll see that the changes are going to be affected there it is as you can see the hovered items the back color has been changed so it's quite simple and it's quite easy to make some customizations on this silicon combo box control you can even change the focused color you can even change the formatting string and so forth you can even change the item appearance let's look at the item appearance set the background color for the item appearance to what track and let's set the full color to white let's see what happens here there it is you can see the item appearance background has been set to hot track and the color has been set to white so we can achieve any customization that we want when we set the item appearance property so you can do this to meet your design needs on hover we can even change the border color the fill color the font the four color and so forth on forecast we can do the same so these are some of the features that we have right there what i want to show you is when we change to material style i want you to see what happens whether the changes are affected yes the changes remain the same so the changes that you make to the list of items is not affected when you change the type of control when i say type i mean whether the control is a material combo box or a silicon combo box this does not affect the styling that you have made to the list of the items so this allows maximum customization on both the appearance of the selected item and the appearance of the drop down list of items so the separation of concerns the uh, styling of the drop down list is independent from the styling of the selected list that is at the forefront right here so this allows us to style our control in any way suitable and uh, in tandem with our design needs so these are a few properties that we have looked at and I'm going to leave the rest of the properties for you guys. Some of them are self-explanatory and you can see how these are affected when you make such changes. I invite you please friends to go ahead and um, download this library and follow, follow along as we make these tutorials so that you can see for yourself how these changes are affected and i kindly ask that if you haven't subscribed 
to do so so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that i'll be posting so this is an interesting control the silicon combo box control and you can include this in your development environment so thank you guys for being with me and i hope to see you next time when we're going to be talking about other controls that we have within the library my name is russell chidakwa and i'm happy to be with you guys have a nice day happy coding cheers